guys, Zulgin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I've been grabbing a few materials off this island, but I haven't really gone really far in. Just pretty much checking everything that was around me on the base island. And um, just making sure that I get all of the stuff on the list. There's quite a few enemies around here that I think I'm going to take advantage of because I really, really, really want to get level 20. And as much experience as I get from all of the animals, or all of the, I guess I should say, the uh, <laughs> the enemies around here, I think I'll be alright in getting that pretty quick. Alright. As long as we don't have too many of those boss monsters to fight, we should be okay. These guys should be, um, uh, oh, well, they should be pretty easy um, if I, uh, oh wait, that's the glove. There we go. If I don't get hit too much with these sleep spells, it's still a lot. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lava, <laughs> surprisingly, doesn't hurt a whole lot over here. I would think that it would be a lot worse than it actually is, but it's not bad. Okay. We got lava off the list. There's a few different kinds of ore and a couple different kinds of plants on the top. There's also a cow right there. And it looks like I'm going to have to go slow to catch up with the cow. Let's go ahead and kill this guy first. Are you going to blow up? Yep. That's alright with me. Okay, let's see. Aha! I got the cow. <laughs> I befriended the cow. Okay, so... I see a couple things that I need to do. There's a lava rock in the middle of the lava there that I should get for uh, exploring. Small stones off the list. There's going to be large stones over there I have to get as well. And I wonder if I check this. Yeah. I think I checked most. Oh, no. Obsidian. Okay, good. And it looks like I got this stuff right here. Okay. These are the large stones. I'll check those. And it looks like there's some ore up there on the pillars. As well as... I'm going to really try to go over there to that rock here. These guys really aren't bad. The mages have a lot more hit points, to tell you the truth. But it's not too bad. Their, their attacks are super predictable. And you can get a lot of damage in on them while they're just charging up. But there's not too many things trying to kill you at one time. It's, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's see. I already got this stuff. Let's put down some of this. Oh. There we go. And check the burning rock. Very nice. Alrighty, so... Without further ado, let's head up and try to get some of this ore. This should not be too hard. There's a hammer hood. We need the sand shrubs. Sand wart plants. I wonder what kind of stuff they give. Probably fur, if I remember correctly. Oh, I can I can actually tame him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Monster monster munchies, wherever they're at. Let's see, it should be with the food items, yeah? There they are. Take out. And let's see what I could do with this. Give to Brownie. Hey, we befriended the Brownie. So we're taking back a Brownie, and we're taking back a cow. What a surprise. The Brownie follows Zul'jin. I, I imagine he's going to help me um, fight. <laughs> I can only imagine. Okay, let's bring up the Clodstone again. And we're going to go ahead and climb here. And check out this silver. There's going to be gold as well. We could probably just fly over to the gold relatively easy. Like so. This looks like a perfect spot for it. Okay, sorry, Maroth. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see here. And... Boom. Um, 
that was supposed to be... I'm supposed to be able to get that? Oh, gold is actually not on it? It looks like there's just a few different types of ore. No, gold is on it. Or maybe that's copper. I actually don't see gold on that list. Which is so weird, huh? Let me just let me just make sure really quickly. What the heck? Um no. I mean I can mine it. But it doesn't yeah, it doesn't it doesn't let me scan it. Weird. Okay. Oh, that was supposed to be the cape. <laughs> can I can I check this? No. This is uh I wonder what this gives me, actually. It's just going to give me some chert. Okay. And I think I already scanned that. Okay, let's see what else we can grab here. Sure enough, my little hammer hood buddy's trying to fight. Look at this. Bam! He only hits for like seven, but <laughs> it works. All right, there's some blue goo over here. Looks like that might be something that we can investigate it looks like a monster to me but you never know no it's slime spawn and it looks like you could break it down into slime yeah pretty simple okay it looks like there's something going on up here that I wasn't familiar with let's see if we can climb up also we need to eat some food yeah, what is all this, man? What is all this? Builderdom's best are the 100 winning entries to the build contest, and they are all made by builders just like you. Use them to inspire your own creations. So it looks like maybe these are contest winners that they go ahead and plant these things around in the optional islands. That's actually really cool. So we can't we can't get any of this stuff, I don't guess. Nope. We can just break our way in and go look around. But all of this stuff we can't actually take. <laughs> but it is a really, really cool spot. Neat, man. Very cool. Alright. Let's uh let's let's head to another section, shall we? Oh, this is lava, I forgot. I, you can't just go in this stuff. There we go. Okay, here's the mushrooms that I needed. Frog stool. So I see some of the ore that I need up there. I imagine I'm just going to have to go around and kind of pillar up here. And there we go, Xenthium. I don't know if I have a whole lot of that stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and get it right now, I guess. There we go. And it looks like there's a little bit around here, too. Like... Oh! <laughs> so it looks like I have a quest marker right here. And it looks like it's actually right up there. In this little place. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey there, the name's Ellen, and I'm a merchant. It's not much business to be done in this island. If it's okay, I tag along with you. I want to get filthy ri I mean, I want to help develop your island's economy. <laughs> Great, I'm going to make a kill. I mean, I'm going to work so hard for you. Ellen comes to live on the island awakening. Nice! <laughs> so we got a merchant for the island now, and uh, we still want to finish up the scavenger hunt too. All right, we'll keep looking around here. Okay, so we're still looking for bones, copper, and it looks like clay and some sort of other plant as well. There's the pile of earth. Oh, there's the bones. Beautiful. All right, here we go. There's the good stuff. Red dye vein block. Uh-oh, strong monster appeared. It's a big cloud? 
Or is it something else? I guess it's just a cloud. Not this guy, though. Uh-oh. Paralyzed is not good. Alright, he's dead. Now it's this guy left. Yeah, he's uh, he's got some hit points, man. Come on up here. We don't want to fight him over the lava, Malroth. Seriously, bruh. Seriously, Malroth. We cannot fight him over the lava. Alright, do as you will. <laughs> I am not fighting him over the lava, Malroth. Whether you like it or not. I don't know if there's getting him, any getting him over here, man. I was trying to get him to follow us. He's just right over the lava. That is not going to be easy to handle at all. Yeah, he's just like... He comes up, but it's just almost like he's stuck around there. I don't know. What I could do, I suppose, is try to make a little floor to where we can actually fight him. I don't think it's going to allow me to go real far, though. You know? Okay, Malroth. Do your thing, man. Okay, we almost got him... We almost pushed him all the way across, actually. Alright, perfect. Now we got him. Ouch. Lightning? Okay. He's not even close to dead, either. Alright, here we go. Hit him hard, Mauro. Thank you. 950 and he's still not even close to dead. This guy, man. I've been fighting him for like five minutes. Come on, Mauro. We almost got him, bro. This is it, Ran. This is it. Oh my gosh. Wow. I learned a new recipe. Tempest Shield. Swells with strength of a thousand storms. Defense plus 18. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And we got cotton and heat root seeds. Very interesting. A couple new enemies right here. I mean, they look like the wyverns that we used to fight. They're just harder. They drop the same stuff, too. Sheesh, man. This was uh, not easy. Okay, all we missing is like a green ore and a red ore and some sort of leafy plant. Looks almost like a wreath. It looks like there's some of that over there. Yeah, here we go. I think. Yeah, check. Coffee beans. Got that off the list. Cool. Now, the only thing there is is uh, copper, which I don't think that's it. Um, oh, that's some of the stuff I think we need over there. Yeah, there's copper. And this uh this clay stuff. There we go. And copper vein block. Now all we missing is the ruby and the emeralds, which I imagine are pretty rare. Probably gotta look up top on a lot of these spires. 
I may have to dig for them. There's coal too, but I don't think coal's on this list. There's the green stuff up there. I think that might be it. It's gonna be hard to get across here, but I did it. <laughs> and yeah, I think this is green dye right here. Check. Green dye vein. Nice. So we got everything from the infinite supply for the infinite supply of silver. Now all we need is the other one for the infinite supply of copper. And that is going to be, it looks like a ruby block or something like that. So we'll have to look around a little bit more for that. Um, let's try over there. There's a goal in my sea? Ooh. Malroth, you ready for another challenge? Yeah, here we go. Is he gonna come down here? Maybe not. Okay. Have it your way. We'll come up to meet you. All right. We ready? Ouch. I wonder if I can do more damage to him. If I were to do this, nope. Definitely still better with this sword. Man, I, and I have a feeling all these hits, I don't know, I just want to try. I just want to try, guys. Like it was gonna hurt. It did. <laughs> okay, now we have the L1 and X, so here we go. That was a thousand. Okay, <laughs> we didn't get anything with the poison needle. Alright, we almost got him. There he is, 440 XP. We should be level 20 soon. Whoa, we can feed him? Bruh. So he befriends the stone golem. And he follows. Oh, we can ride him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. So, shall we do a little bit of damage? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, this is this is the only way to travel in this biome, y'all. All right, I think I see some of that ruby stuff that I need on the opposing pillar right there. So I'm gonna dismount and jump across as much as I can here. You can keep trying to use the cape again, over and over and over again. Yeah, it's over there. There we go. And all we have to do now is climb. Man, what an area, right? Ruby vein block. There it is. Infinite supply of copper. And we got all of the stuff. Now, there was one more thing I wanted to do. There was another knight aberrant that I saw. Let's get on the, um, the golem here. 
And let's go, first of all, let's take care of this riff raff right here. Alright, there's lava coming. Run, everybody! Sorry. Okay, let's go over here to that night aberrant. Oh, there's the night. Beautiful. <laughs> this is like an episode of Power Rangers. It's like we're just fighting the Megazords now. This is the only way to fight Malroth. <laughs> what a titanic battle, man. And we should just about have him here. Beautiful. Anything special? No, because we already beat him. That's cool. All right. Let's venture out a little bit more. Well, that looks like all of the epic monsters. I wonder if I can do damage to these guys. No, it doesn't look like it. I can do damage to these, though. And what I want to do right before I leave is just get a ton of basalt. Because that that's a pretty block. And like with this <laughs> with this golem, I can mine so much of it. Here we go. Here's the basalt I was looking for. This stuff, it's like a really, really nice texture for a black block. And I'm gonna get a ton of it <laughs> while I'm here. Just in case we decide to do any builds with it. There we go. That's pretty good. <laughs> So after collecting the basalt, a little bit more ore, and finishing the scavenger hunts, and also looking around for quite a bit of monsters, I think uh, I think this is gonna be it. Let's go ahead and teleport back, and um, and we'll see what the quest ends up as. I wonder if I'm gonna get to bring back my buddy the golem. Yeah, <laughs> he came back with me. That and their hammer hood. That's so cool, man. He's trying his dangers to get off the boat, too. The cow heads for the green gardens. Golem heads for the green gardens. Ellen heads for the scarlet sands. Pet bowl, a, a small saucer to hold snacks for your animal companion, can be dyed. And pet bedding, a basic bed for the animal companion to curl up for in a comfy kip. Terraforma tiles, a tile populating, uh, populating with the power of sand. Summons a friendly golem to transform the vicinity into sand. Wow. Very, very cool. Time for dessert. When you place the terraforma tiles on the ground, the golem will come over and smash them, turning them into it turning the nearby area into desert. So it's to be able to transform stuff, just kinda like the worm food transforms um onto all of the um the I guess the grasslands. We could do that for that, that's pretty cool. I wonder if you can tame these guys. Hmm, man, we really need a squishy, bruh. We really do. All right, let's go back and uh, and see how uh, the qu the quest goes here. All right, here comes old girl. Uh, you want to talk over here instead of uh, where those guys are? Oh, I see you brought back a lovely shopkeeper. We's in business now. That said, we still need something to sell. If it puts licenses on top of the price tag, the merchant will supply it to others. What? Oh, itemses, not licenses. We're sure the islanders will be delighted. A little retail therapy makes them all happy happy. Huh? How will anyone buy uh, <laughs> any without money? What's it talking about? Oh, Zuljin, you do say some very odd things. What is this money it speaks of? Seriously, what is it? <laughs> Anyway, if you want our item shop to thrive, you'll have to use the price tags wisely. Do good business, make islanders happy. As soon as the work on the pyramid is finished, we can get our new shopkeeper sailed in. He's looking forward to the shop's grand opening. We're gonna have to make that shop bigger, bruh. Tricks of the trade. Place an item you want to sell on the price tag, and if anyone buys it, they'll leave gratitude points by way of payment. Okay. So... Hmm, what if we put the golden chest there? How about that? Let's try, let's try that out. And we'll place it. Stow. 
And now it's for sale. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And oh, I love that it's like... It renders it in 3D so you can see it. This is really cool. I'd like to see how this turns out. I don't know. I've been collecting these chests for a while with nothing else to do to them. I'm sure you could probably find some rare stuff too. Uh, we have more price tags, but let me know what you guys have seen in your own playthroughs or on other videos, and um, and I'll try to I'll try to mess around with it. But I think that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.